I set the time now is two minutes after eight o'clock, two minutes after eight o'clock on this football Friday. It's now time for the world famous Butch and Bob show brought to you by Mike Birch Ford and Blackshear and also brought to you by Murphy Builder Supply located on Northeast Broad Street, downtown Jessup. And Bob, you ready for a good, good game tonight for the Jackets? I'm ready. You ready, fired up, and ready to go, huh? I reach and play. Get it underway. Let's go. All right. Uh, we've got several guests in this morning, two sets. Uh, first of all, Bob, you want to introduce our first guest this morning from Scriven, Georgia. We've got the 20th annual Wings Hall Memorial Radio. We've got the big one here all about it. We've got Emma Lou and her brother Todd. So it's rodeo time. Who wants to go first? It Emma is, Lou, go ahead. It is rodeo time. I'm Emma Lou Thompson, and I'm the really proud daughter of Elaine Elizabeth McDonald Todd. And we're here to discuss and invite our listening audience to the 20th annual Willene Todd Memorial Rodeo. Um, this is an event that was founded by our family in May of 1999 on Mother's Day weekend. Mama passed away on January the 1st of 99 and um, Art and Mary and I were in the truck on the way to the rodeo in Kissimmee, Florida in February and I said, well guys, we need to do something for Mama um, and give something back to the community in her memory. And that is the way this event was um, hatched, for lack of a better word. We um, came home, talked to Harry and Robert, and, you know, we're a little tiny family, uh, but we are blessed with a multitude of wonderful friends who help us produce this. Um, first thing we did when we started thinking about it was we went to um, Felton Burke, who was very instrumental in the... Um, in the equine industry at that point in time and we said um we want to do a memorial rodeo for mama and give the money back to something in her memory and he said well let's do it so that was the first rodeo and for several years he sponsored us um from that point in time we became a corporate um dodge rodeo and for the last three consecutive years we've been really blessed to be sponsored by mike birch ford of blackshear and nashville um, we're just honored that they stepped in and started supporting us. The rodeo is uh, next weekend, October the 12th and 13th, at, in mine and Harry's backyard on Hortense Road, 361 Hortense Road, TNT Arena. Um, performances, uh, let's see. We have a gospel sing at 6.30 both nights, House of Worship and Ministries. Uh, the choir from there, they've been helping us for the last 20 years. And if you've never heard Mickey Tomberlin sing How Great Thou Art, it's worth the price of the admission just to come and listen to that. Uh, we have a little cowboy church service at 7.30 and the rodeo's at 8 o'clock. All right, sounds good. Big okay. rodeo. It's always fun. Well, thank always you so fun. much. We hope so. We've got two it's new, a blast. We've got two new contract acts this year that we've never had in Scriven, Georgia before, and we're really excited about that. Now, what are contract acts? They're folks that entertain the crowd. That's the who we hire to come from far and near, yes. All right, tell us who they okay. are. Uh, we've got Dusty Crane Dickerson from Missouri. She is one of the Dixie Stampede Chicks. Um, she'll be riding three horses in the arena and jumping through rings of fire and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, and we've got a new clown. His name is Brian Potter from Mississippi. And he is absolutely phenomenal. He has taught a little pony to drive a car. So... That will be interesting. That will be interesting. Now, who will be doing the talking between the um, uh, between the uh, competition? That is Adam Gibbs, our rodeo announcer. Okay. This will be the third time Adam's been with us, or third or fourth time, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's great. Everybody loves Adam. He has a great voice. Yes, sir. Are so quiet. I want to talk to him about the bulls. I want you to tell me about the bulls. bulls. That's my favorite part. The bulls. Hey, <laughs> okay, Art, tell us. The, the bulls that's coming this year, we've got about 33 on the farm. And I've got a good friend of mine that I'm in business with named Robert Swint. He's out of Lake Placid, Florida. They've had about nine bulls on the PBR tour this year, which is doing pretty good. He just got the call. They're going to the finals in Vegas. We're going to bring three of them bulls up here and match them up with some cowboys. Uh, Chris Garrison from South Florida has been on one bull. He had not rode him yet. We're going to match him up to him and see if he can ride him before we haul into Vegas. we got some bucking horses. Uh, the Cheyenne this year, been at Fort Worth, Texas, been at Pendleton. So we've got some horses that's been across the world and the country, and we've got some bulls. It's going to be a pretty good rodeo. Like I said, it's 20 years in the making, and I wouldn't have thought we'd have been here 20 years, but it keeps growing and growing. And I can tell you this, I've been all around the world and put on rodeos from coast to coast and 
you want to see a show for what the mission is, come to Scriven, Georgia. Uh, I was in Washington, D.C. two weeks ago and put on the rodeo there, and it was 44 bucks to get in. That was 44 bucks for adults and kids. You know, 44. Now, 44. how do they come up with 44? Why I have 45 or 40? Or just 40. Yeah, 40. I, I have no idea. They had three performances. Uh, the first two performances were sold out, 9,000 in the stands. For, now, are, people not, may not realize, but aren't you and some other folks go around and, and help organize and put on rodeos nationwide, we, right? We put them up from the ground. Uh, we, we've got a bleacher business. We also provide bleachers around the world. But, you know, we start to finish. We're, we're there from a Tuesday, and we get done on about a Tuesday. It takes about a week to put it all together. Put it all together. And that's that's quite a project there. It is. I mean, it's a it's a major event that y'all got to put on. And and like right now, my, my main man, Jeremiah, he's in Tampa. We had a deal down there this weekend. We set it up. I didn't tell my Aunt Emma Lou. We done set it up because we've got to be there next weekend. So he went down there just to get some shoots to bring back here because we got so many going on. Okay, and um, so you just kind of expanded this business. It's growing for the family for uh, putting these uh, radios on nationwide, it right? Expanded it, you know, really and truly didn't want to get expanded as much as we are, and we just keep growing. So well, that's kind of like my belly; it keeps expanding. I, I don't know. Hey, I know the feeling. <laughs> uh, mine's mine's growing on out there. <laughs> oh boy! But uh, the Willie Tom Memorial Radio coming up next weekend. And, um, and and how do you see the attendance and the enthusiasm for rodeos these days? It's all about entertainment. And I talked to a man yesterday that's from Vegas that lives in Florida now, and he's doing something totally different. And I'm going to try that probably next year here in Scriven. It's just about different entertainment. You know, you got to have good clowns. You got to have great announcers. You've got to have acts. You know, somebody just sitting in the stands. A lot of people don't keep up with, like, the Bulls. You know, some folks keep up with the Bulls. Some folks keep up with the local Cowboys. But for a whole, you've got to have entertainment that from the little kids to the older gen older generation, everybody's got to be entertained. So you got to bring it all together for two hours. Do you have any local competitions going on this year? Lo lots of local stuff going on. You probably have some of the best local people in Wayne County and surrounding counties that rodeo professionally and you know a lot of people say oh we're going to Texas and we've seen this and we've seen that well what's sad is is yeah you can turn television on but you see 80 percent of the same kind of people right here in the backyard in Scriven, Georgia. Okay what about any local competitions in terms of um, you know uh, milking or anything of that sort? Of, where Willie? We're we're going to have the wild cow milking this year. Oh, you are. And Cause I hadn't heard anything about who, what the teams are, who they are. And I don't know who the teams are. Oh, a, is Michael over here on the team? I've got a set right. of cowboys that's going to be here. Uh huh. And um, we had it in Florida the other day, and it, it went off pretty good. But I've got a set of cows designed just for this 20th annual. Uh huh. And all I can tell you is they better be ready. Okay. I can tell you about the cow milking. You tell us, Willie. I can tell you about the cow milking since I was I mean, I'm a loop. I just get out there and Emily. beg and plead. You know, we've been begging and pleading for Butch and Bob and Jonathan to get a cow milking team for years. And we if I get it. down there, I might not be able to stand back up the way my back is with the bulging disc and all the back problems I have. So I, I'm just going to blame it on a bad back. Listen, listen. <laughs> if you're scared, just say so, okay? Um, I'm scared. <laughs> we got Michael Birch here with us this morning, and Michael is on the Mike Birch cow milking team. Now, Michael, you need to Michael a little closer to you there, kind of like I am right here. We've, got, oh, we've also got the defending champions from last year. Um, this is a team that? called Godwin's Getters. Godwin's Getters. Godwin's Skitters, and that's headed up by Kenny Godwin, and he's got Joe Barnes and Jeremiah Sharp. They won the championship buckles last year, and they'll be back again this year. But I got faith in Michael down there. Tell us about your team, now, about Mike Birch. Ford, now, Michael. now, let me introduce him. Michael Birch is the son of Mike Birch, the owner of uh, Mike Birch Ford in in Blackshear. Um, and Emma Lou, he sold his uh, dealership over in Nashville, so it's just Blackshear oh. now. And wow. so Michael Birch has come back to town, helping his dad out, running the service department, and probably just about anything else around there, being the son, because uh, my son knows that here at the radio station. So tell us uh, about your involvement with Mike Birch Ford, uh, Michael, on the sponsorship of this event, and then about your um, competition team. Mike Birch Ford, um, we're very, very proud to sponsor this a great event in our hometown of Scriven this year. This is a great family event, a world-class entertainment right here in Scriven. We would like everyone to come out, bring your friends, bring your family. 
Miss Emma Lou and her family do a great job each year of putting this together. Each year, it always gets better than the last. Mike Birch Ford will also have some of our 2019 Super Duties out here for y'all to come check out. F-150s too. We'll have, also, we have all of our Ford models at our store in Blackshear, as well as a great selection of pre-owned vehicles of all makes and models. We have a world-class service facility with the latest technology and factory certified technicians. And just like we care about this event and Emma Lou and her family making it happen, we also care about our customers. And we strive every day to give them the best value and service possible. Come see us Friday and Saturday at the rodeo or anytime at Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear. Okay, y'all been sponsoring this is the third, fourth year, third year? Uh, yes, Emily, third year. Third year yeah. that Mike Bridge Ford and Blackshear has been the uh, presenting sponsor on this event. Now tell us about, tell us about your milk uh, uh, utter contest there. <laughs> Milking them. We have, have you ever milked the cow before? <laughs> Last year. I Last I just, year. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's come over and get some practice. He needs some practice. Me and uh, Rod. The week, uh, the week, the le uh, the week link on the team, Michael, last year. Uh, I think I, I was. I got. I got pretty. I, was, I looked like I was water skiing behind that cow. Art will teach you how to milk that cow. Uh, <laughs> uh, me and um, Rodney Madry, we, uh, we're going to get after it this year. Oh, so it's just two of y'all, right? It's a two-person yeah, two team? Uh, three-person team. Three-person three. Yeah, three. Right, three three team, okay? So you, you haven't practiced, developed your skills over the last uh, year, Michael? We gotta, <laughs> he better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Art's got an entire week to be able to help you. I'll do that. It's free. It's free. The, yeah, the, the, uh, the training's free, huh? Can't Art. guarantee you won't get skin up. Uh, now, what's, what's the, uh, you said that you felt like you were water skiing behind that cow. What was it doing, pulling you all around the, uh, oh, yeah. the arena there? Turn, turn the mic back around there. Okay. Jumped all over me, ripped my shirt, but it, it, was, it was a good time, though. Okay. <laughs> it was like watching WWF or WWE. <laughs> and, the, and the cow was winning, huh? <laughs> it was good, good stuff. Oh. Do you, you, you wear a cowboy hat or, or football helmet? <laughs> you know, that made the helmet, but I do wear the cowboy hat. So uh -huh. We're going to have him decked out this year. Yeah. You're going to have him decked out, Art? Right? Make, him, make him look like a real cowboy. I'll put a bull riding vest on him so he don't get beat up. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are you supposed to do if the cow starts taking off and you're trying to milk it? What do you got to stop it and, and then get it back up under again and start? It, all right, tell us what, what happens when the cow takes off on everybody. Only thing I can tell you is you better take hold. Just take hold. Just, just, just hang on. Just, it's not going to last long. What? The, hang on to the udder, the tail, the side of the cow? You, you, better, you better have a good person that's on the head. Oh, that's right. You've got to have somebody in front. And right. you better have a good person that's on the tail. The, you know, milking's the easiest part to me. Yeah. You, just, you just got to grab grab hold and go to milking. Okay. You got to make him be still before you milk, though. Okay, her. 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 <laughs> That's correct. But, she better say her. <laughs> but, but you better take hold, so like that. Just better take hold. Now, you've you got to have the guys trading in front and the back to be able to keep that cow in place, right? It, it's kind of funny. Everybody has a plan, uh -huh. and everybody's talking pretty good till the gates open up. And I think 90% of the plans goes out the window when the cow comes out because uh -huh. they really didn't realize that this cow's fixing to take off. All right, so they're talking smack before the, uh, they go out there and do their it's thing, and next thing you know, the cow says, I ain't, ain't staying here, and the cow's a lot stronger. It's good watching. It's good watching. <laughs> and hey, it's, it's good entertainment. It's just not, it's just not for anybody. Anybody can get in, and, and I've got a team that we do it at other rodeos, uh -huh. and they've been pretty successful. Right. But they handle cows every day, and even they have trouble. And, th and they do it every day. And They're they do it that. every day. Well, after this conversation right there, right now, you can count on that you'll never see Jonathan, Bob, and me <laughs> out there doing this. <laughs> but, you know, Shucks. Ta talking, Shucks. About, talking about the rodeo. Okay, let's get back to that. In 20 years, I couldn't honestly name not one person because I'd be naming thousands of people that's helped put the rodeo together. Wow. You know, nice. the, the community comes out. You have stuff at Odom, you have stuff in Jessup, and you have stuff in Scriven. And in the county, we're all one. But if it wasn't, if it hadn't been for everybody doing something, we wouldn't be here in 20 years. Well, that's the thing about Wayne County and um, 
uh, is the fact that if, uh, if an event comes up, if a tragedy happens, if, 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 if people need people, Wayne County can step forward now. That's right. And, you know, it's like, yeah, I can say Cotton Young from Alabama, he helped get the first one going. You know, I worked for him, me and his family's friends, me and his boys is like brothers. Uh, matter of fact, his own son, one of his sons lives here now and has a great business shoeing horses, and he helps us with this rodeo all the time. But, you know, if you go to start naming people, everybody asks me, well, who does this? And you can't name them all. Okay. You know, I can tell you who helped start it, and the list just goes on and on. There's been so many people that did something that helps, and that's what I love about Wayne County. We all come together. Even if a good event or just a bad event, everybody comes together and helps. Okay. And in 20 years, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't been for people around the county helping us. Helping forward. Okay, we and need to wrap this up. we got some folks in Odom sitting out there. So, Emily, go ahead with the rest of your notes there and let's get this done. Not just uh, not just our committee, but these businesses in town. You know, yes, they get hit up every single day for sponsorships and, and we're nothing new we we need sponsors too but everybody just everybody turns out to help us oh um, want to let you know we got 20th anniversary t-shirts for sale we'll have cowboy hats hats ropes and bandanas and one thing we didn't mention art is that we'll have a kid's calf scramble they always love that um want you to know too that we're not out there raising money for the todd and thompson families we're raising money for scholarships the fellowship of christian athletes the georgia baptist children's home needy families um all of the net proceeds are donated in Mama's memory to some worthwhile organization. Um, one thing, if you are a contestant wishing to enter the rodeo, the books will be open for entries on Monday, October the 8th from 6 until 9 p.m. And the call-in number for entries is 266-2521. Art is sitting over there showing Michael how to milk a cow here on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Birch in this morning. Michael, your first time out here doing this. Uh, I'm, I'm, we're glad that you're able to come out here and uh, that your dad allowed you to come on the air this morning and represent Mike Birch Ford of Blackshear as the presenting sponsor, the sponsor of the Willing Todd Memorial Rodeo. A great thing the Birch family is doing for the community. Emily, we wish y'all the best uh, next uh, uh, Friday night and Saturday nights. Uh, for the um, for the radio, and hope you raise lots of funds for all these charities. One of mama, one of mama's all-time favorite sayings was, "You better make good memories because you're going to have to live with them." So y'all can make some good memories with us at the rodeo, okay? All right, sounds good. Bob, anything for them? Well, Thank you so much for having us. All right, and you're welcome. We've got uh, folks in the uh, green room right now that going uh, that's going to talk about Odom Day tomorrow, and we'll have them on in just about a minute. Good morning, everyone. Sunny skies, hot temperatures, feeling like summer, even though we're moving into the first weekend of October. Afternoon highs today, upper 80s and low 90s with clear skies tonight. It looks like tomorrow we'll keep the sunshine around. Highs again, upper 80s and low 90s. On Sunday, we've got sunshine, but we'll bring in about a 40% chance of a shower or storm in the afternoon. Highs mid-80s. I'm Georgia meteorologist Laura Huckabee in the GNN Weather Center. Tradition. Yes, it's still the we have Mike Burke, right? Mike Burke? Yeah. Okay. 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 Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO 105.5 FM in Jessup, world famous Butch and Bob show for this football Friday, 20, 21 minutes, 21 minutes after 8 o'clock. And uh, Bob, more more folks here on the here to talk about another event coming up. Big event this weekend. We've been promoting. She's been in before. Miss Cheyenne's back. I can't believe you're not in the parade, Cheyenne. They don't have a vehicle for you to be in the parade. Parade, but our mayor is, and our city council is. Well, she's behind the scenes working, Bob. Uh, she's working. But she puts yeah. it on. She's put so much work in, they should at least have her in the parade. No, I'm like, I am good with being behind the scenes. Okay. I am not a out there kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> work behind the scenes. There's a lot of work to be done tomorrow. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot. We've been working all day Friday, all day Monday, all day Tuesday. Wednesday I had an actual office day. 
to get stuff done for well, City Hall. How, how did the reception go Wednesday night? Good. It went really good. We um, had um, about 30 people there for celebrating um, Michelle Stevens, our Grand Marshal, who's the Odom Elementary School Teacher of the Year. So we had a pretty good crowd and pretty good turnout. And today is the Odom High School reunion? Yes, today um, at 2, 2 p.m. is the Odom High School reunion at the Odom Odom, Odom Church, Church of God Gym, Church of God Gym. Um, and that starts at 2, I think it's $12, and you'll... Um, but that's nap time for a lot of folks that age. I know it is for... <laughs> <laughs> I did not I'm put this kidding. together. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Because I'm the same way. The older I get, you know, that that, uh, that uh, early mid-afternoon 20-minute power nap really helps. Oh, I love naps. Oh, I, you do? Yes, <laughs> I'm the nap queen. Um, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But Mr. Jim Westbury, he has, um, him and the committee have put that together. Right. Um, so $12 starts at 2 Odom Church God Gym. And then it all kicks off tomorrow with the parade at 10, so just run down the whole lineup. The uh, parade will start at 10. Um, lineup is at 9 um, at the Odom Elementary School. And then kick off at 10. We'll have our fire trucks, our city police, well, just the city police, Scriven City Police, the sheriffs will kind of kick it off, and there's about 60 entries, so we'll have a pretty good parade going through, and then um, once the parade ends, it'll kick off of the platform ceremonies with raising the flag, um, saying the pledge, the national anthem will be sung, um, Justin Marardi, uh he's going to do the invocation for us, so we'll have a prayer, and then presentation of the Odom Elementary Queens will continue with that, and then our mayor, Brian Nipper, will welcome everybody, and we'll... But who are the Queens this year? I am not sure You're on not that. You're not sure? No, okay. I, I don't handle the You don't parade. handle that part, huh? No. And what does the, inter what does the entertainment on the stage begin? That, that begins... Let me look through my notes here. All right, that's uh, right after uh, the platform yeah. ceremonies and yep. cakewalk, I believe. Yep, the cakewalk will be at 12, right after platform ceremonies, and then 12.45, the... Gina's Jens will kick off our entertainment. Okay, and what time is Corky Sykes' uh, performance? Corky's will be at 1.15. 1.15, that's mm -hmm. what I thought. I got two grandsons that are going to be in that, so I need to oh, make sure. Yeah, you gotta I'll watch be broadcasting that. live tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., mm -hmm. as we normally do. I've been doing that since 1992. And um, so I'm looking forward <coughs> to seeing the Corky Sykes entertainment. It's always amazing what those um, young folks can do. Yes, they can flip very high, and I'm surprised they don't land on their face when they come down. <laughs> They're very skilled. Well, I guarantee you they did a lot until they got it right. Yes. All right. Odom Day tomorrow, a uh, big, big day. Tell us what else is going on tomorrow. We have close to 80 vendors, so we'll have a very full, full um, square this year. We can hold about 84, so... That's great. Yes, we are pushing the limit on our booth spaces. Um, Today we are setting up our kids' area, so we'll have that ready to go um, at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Okay, yep. and you get uh, the you can buy a $10 wristband for the kids, and they can yep. uh, play as much as they want, as all in and out, in and out, yes. play and so forth. Now, are these two things that are separate, or are they part of that $10? Um, they are together with the ten dollars. Um, it's just that they're an older child or mm -hmm. somebody who doesn't want to play on all the bounces or all of that kind they of thing. They just want to do those other things. They That's just want to do the hamster ball or the rock wall. They can pay for a ticket separately. And separately just, for that mm -hmm. instead of the younger stuff. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, yep, they can. Bob, you ever gone on one of the uh, rock walls mm -hmm. before? Sure. <laughs> well, this one is, a, I think, a 24 foot, so you, you should hop on there. Yes, sir. Hey, just yeah. scamper up that thing, man. I'm going to go halfway there. I've got a fair height. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so you got all the uh, kids' zone area, and uh, we gave away all the wristbands. People, ex I mean, they were just yes. like jumping up and down when they came in because it saved them um, uh, 20 bucks for the, yes. for the kids. The grand Actually, the last lady I dealt with yesterday was for her grandkids. And so you got, and you got the chickens coming back this year to entertain the, yes. everyone, including the kids. Yes, the chickens will be back. And it's amazing how that guy can train chickens. I didn't know chickens is. could do those kind of things. It's, at, the, at the rodeo, apparently they're going to have a horse riding a car. It's amazing what people can do with animals, how to train them. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a really good, good show. Okay, and uh, food vendors just bring a big old appetite there, yes, right? bring a very large appetite. There will be lots of food. and Will names be set up there again this year? Yes, they There's were There's always set a long line getting the, 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 those um, spring rolls mm -hmm. and, the, um, and the rice. That will be my lunch tomorrow. That will be your lunch. <laughs> yes. All right.
right, the chicken or the shrimp? Uh, the shrimp. The shrimp. shrimp. The shrimp, shrimp fried shrimp. rice, and get you some of those egg rolls, spring rolls, mm. whatever they call them. Okay. Yeah. T-shirts on sale now and at the day of the festival, right? Were they at Babouche Center for the T-shirts or were the T-shirts sold out? Um, the T-shirts were actually sold out at City Hall. Oh, yeah, City You're Hall. sold out? At City Hall, yes, we are. So tomorrow um, you'll be able to get them at the Odom Townhouse. Barber & Company will be set up right okay, there. Okay, Barber & Company will have a new, an, another run going through, yes. the, going through the presses right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to sell right there at that Townhouse, which, which is, you know, right there. I mean, you can't miss it. Yes. Yeah, it's the, it's the biggest building around there. Well, not the biggest, but it's the it's building facing the rail, uh, railroad tracks there. Yeah, it, yeah, you'll be able to find them definitely. Yeah, right there'll be that. concerts tomorrow night as well. Tickets on sale in yes. advance for that for seven dollars at the door, ten dollars for a second chance band. Yes, they're gonna um, be at the Odom City Gym. That's right. Yes, the Odom City Gym, and we have tirelessly set it up and put tables out and got our concession set up or we've got sh lights strung so it's going to look really pretty and the band is coming this evening to set up so now, how many we'll, tables do you have how many people can you sit we have um 10 tables with six chairs each and okay. so we have about 60 tables or 60 seats on the floor but we also have the bleachers so we'll have how, how do folks get the tables so this is first come first serve first or? come first serve so the earlier you get there the you can get your table with yes. chairs to sit instead of having to sit in the bleachers, right? Right, and the doors open at 6 okay. tomorrow evening for the dance. And then you got the big dance floor out there, too, so yes. it's just not watching them, which is very entertaining to watch anyway. Yes, if you want to get are. out there and dance and shag and all that kind of good stuff, you got a big dance floor for we, that. We do have a big dance floor, so bring your dancing shoes. And you have refreshments there, concessions, yes. right? Yes, we will be selling pizza and popcorn, drinks, candy. Um, chips, that kind of stuff. We'll, we'll have that for sale. And what time does the concert begin with Second Chance Band tomorrow night? It starts at 7 and they're supposed to go till about 10 o'clock. Okay. So. And uh, that'll be in the Odom City Gym. $7 yes, today and tomorrow up. Can you buy the tickets to the Odom Day tomorrow for 7? You can. Um, we'll have a booth set up out there to sell dance tickets and our raffle tickets. So and if you wait to go to the door, it'll mm -hmm. be 10. So yep. save yourself 30% there. Yeah. Sounds good. We're, we're excited for it. We are busy trying to get everything together, and we think it's going to be a very large, large time this year. And the forecast looks good, so. I've, I've been hoping for that. I haven't really looked and paid attention. <laughs> I've just been hoping and praying that the weather is going to be nice. And It'll be hot and sunny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hot and sunny. Well, wear t-shirts and shorts. Wear an Odin t-shirt. And <laughs> yeah, Odin t wear your Odin t-shirt, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just have a good time out there tomorrow at the uh, 43rd, right? Yes, 43rd. Annual Odom Day. Old, Odom Homecoming Activities taking place this week. Uh, you got the Odom High School Reunion today, and then tomorrow, uh, the big Odom Day all day long, the concert tomorrow night, or, or dance and uh, all that kind of good stuff to tomorrow night with uh, Second Chance Band. And then Sunday, you have the... Community Church Service, and it's going to be in the Odom City Gym, and it starts at 11, and um, Odom Church of God will be the host church this year. And um, Pastor Justin Moroney has um, a really good um, ser service planned out. We've got acoustic guitar, so it's going to be very laid back um, kind of thing. So it's going to be good. We encourage everybody to come to okay. the community service. Cheyenne from Odom, one of the people behind the scenes. <laughs> That helps put on uh, the Odom Homecoming Activities in Odom Day. Yes, sir. Appreciate you coming in. And Thanks. wish you all success, and I'll see you all tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. We'll see you then. Bob, any other final comments for Cheyenne? No, just appreciate you coming in. Looking forward to appreciate the T-shirts again this year, Ross. I'll be wearing that tomorrow at Odom Day, so it'll be fun. Okay. Thank you. All right. Take care, y'all. All right. The World Famous Butch and Bob Show brought to you by Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear and also brought to you by Murphy Goodall Supply located on Northeast Broad Street in downtown Jessup. Uh, coming up soon, we got a giveaway coming your way, so keep tuned in for your chance to win. And, uh, and your weather forecast coming up, uh, state news from the Georgia News Network, all kinds of great stuff between here and 9 o'clock. And then at 9.03, we'll have the very best in country music for you all day long. And then Wayne County football tonight as they're traveling up the state.